Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing some updating in my daily bullet journal. So for my new viewers, welcome. My returning viewers, welcome back. Um, well, let's kind of go over what we will be doing. So I have a few things right here with me. Um, first of all, I have uh, Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop, her calendar. Um, since it's January's almost over. We're gonna be doing something special with the January. And the rest of it will be going back on here because I like to keep this hung up at my desk. I have the 2024 goals sheet. I have the February sheet from the, um, the luxury advent calendar at the end of 2023. I have the February monthly calendar and I want to do something with this cover page. The question is, what am I going to do? <laughs> so first of all, we definitely need the 2024. And I think what I may actually do. Um, okay, so the way that I have it set up is this was going to be like the cover. Then I'm going to have the year at a glance and I'm still waiting on stickers for that. And then I have my uh, my word of the year. And then I went ahead and put in like a couple little bookshelves because I'm like, I think it would be really fun to color in books as I read them. Um, and I've got one more sheet that goes along with this um, that I plan on using somewhere that I plan on using basically like once these two are filled up. And then it goes straight into January. So... What I may end up doing you know what we're, we're gonna do I have I think I have the other book sheet in here. Here we go. okay so we're gonna go ahead. the book pages are gonna be broken up. I don't think that that's too big of a deal. I'm going to put 2024 on this page. So we're gonna do that right there. And then, because I don't want like, I really don't want like a super decorative, just because that's really not my style. What I'm also going to do is I'm gonna put goals right here in the middle and I'm going to draw some boxes um this way it'll kind of be like my goals page and then I'm going to put the other reading tracker in here so I decided to go with pink um I was kind of hoping for like the same pink that was in the flower but I did a bad job Also, I'm like super tired today. Obviously, it is too late for coffee. It's too late for caffeine of any sort. Um, so I think after this video, it's gonna have to be probably bedtime soon. And by bedtime, I mean laying in bed, reading, and telling myself, I'm gonna finish one more chapter and then I'm going to bed. One more chapter and then I'm going to bed. Actually, one more chapter. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna go with that and then what I'm probably gonna do is I'm just gonna fill this in. All right, so now I wanna put in the book tracker. Um, it's, I don't think it's gonna bother me that I have, actually, we're gonna put this. What I actually what I, what I kind of want to do, I need to kind of figure out how I'm going to do this because I definitely want to use this one right here. But what I was thinking is I kind of need like room. So like I could put I could put this like right here. Hold on. I didn't want, oof, I don't want to have to cut off the chairs, like the, the legs of the uh, chair. 
So we're gonna bring it up just a bit. And the chair itself is going to be right down the middle. So I'm just gonna press it down. See? Um, actually, let me, let me see if I can do that just a little bit better. Sometimes you may have to trim it and then, and then put it down. So that's what we're gonna do instead. All right, that works, that works good enough. Now I want to take these books and I'm actually going to trim them, them down because I wanna kind of create like a little book stack. What I, and also what I'm trying to decide is, do I want to color books like, do I want to color it by month? Because originally I was thinking, I was like, oh, I could do like a rainbow. I mean, I could do a rainbow. Um, yeah, I need to really figure out how I want to have the books colored. We're going to put these ones down first. And then we're going to trim this one and then I will put this one on top of it. That way we have a nice little 12 book monthly stack. And um, once I kind of decide how I want the colors to be, which I'll probably just go like rainbow order and just have it repeat. Um, yeah, I'll probably do like a six color rainbow and then just have it repeat. Then I will start filling in the books, I think for January. Like, I wanna say that I read maybe 10 books, 11 books. I need to, I mean, I've got, I've got two books that I'm hoping to finish tomorrow. Um, one of them is an audio and the other one is a Kindle. I don't know if I'm gonna finish them, but I'm gonna try. All right, so we've got that done. So my cover and my goals page, and then the start of the book tracker, this is gonna be years at, year at a glance. And then we have my word of the year, and then we have the continuation of those because apparently my whole notebook is chaos. Monthly in the reflection page, and then we go into daily pages. I'm so tired, you guys which I really like these daily pages. Maybe they just make me happy. This is gonna end up being journaling pages and more daily. And then here's tomorrow. Okay, so what I wanna do for this page is I would like to create like a monthly journaling for a reflection. So what I wanna do is I wanna find a washi color that coordinates with this and I'm basically going to going to tape this into the notebook so it's kind of like a tip in and then I'm going to um, I need to kind of figure out how I want to decorate the rest of it like maybe I just decide that I want to do washi maybe I want to use some coordinating floral florals like I don't have any in the Jojo that will match it but I may have florals from like another brand that will match so I'll have to kind of figure out how I want to do that but for now I'm going to go ahead like I may even just kind of put in like matching washi that I'm using for this but we're going to go ahead and put this in there we go um, so I'm going to put it, basically, I just kind of fold back the washi because I want it to be like as even as possible and just smash it down. And then this one, I can kind of like maneuver it to where it's, it's straight. And then you put down this washi. That wasn't exactly good, but that was good enough. There we go. 
and then smash it closed again. And there you go, I have a nice little tip in and I can be able to journal in the rest of it. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take like some washi and just kind of put like some, some washi that kind of complements it. I was thinking this one I think would be a good complimentary. So this is also a washi that I don't think I have used very much at all. So it's even nice because I'm using washi that I normally wouldn't. And then I'm going to do the very top. This is going to be a very, very simple monthly journaling page, but I think that this would be a really good way to end the month. All right, so then I have journaling to do tonight. Now we're gonna go to the February page. So February page will be super simple. I have the February calendar in the middle. So then on the other side is where I'm gonna be doing the reflection page and I'm gonna do it very similar to how I did January. So the reflection page is gonna be different because reflection is just kind of like some memories. Um, the journaling page is going to be like, I want to actually do some deep journaling, um, just kind of like about what's been going on during the month. So let's go back to my January reflection. This is basically how I have it set up. I have the calendar. I have the washi on both the bottom and the top reflection and then I just kind of created some boxes so we're going to do something exactly the same. I also have Duke hair in this. Don't know why. Well I mean I know why I have Duke hair in this but I also don't know why. <laughs> So now, like I kind of really liked how I had just a couple boxes and then I had some bigger boxes. So I'm kind of thinking of doing the exact same thing. Um, I don't want to pair though a blue box at the very top because I feel like that that's gonna be too much. And in terms of the color, I kind of want to stick to like this red. Okay, so I have in the back of my black notebook, I have my, my Tombow chart. And I'm kind of thinking probably like the closest one, maybe the 803, which is actually a pink punch. Um, but... Apparently, like to me, it looks close enough to that. And then to go along with that, we're going to do a couple of boxes. And I think I'm just going to kind of do something very similar to what I did on the other page. We're gonna use a pink and, or a blue and a yellow for this. And then we're just gonna kinda just use my Tombow and just make a box.
And what I may even try to do um, for like the future, maybe for February, is I may even try to fill it in kind of as the month goes. I did not mean to go over that. Oops, sorry flower. However, what I could do is I could just kind of throw down a little flower over that we'll just pretend like that never happened. I actually don't like that little that little leaf there. We're gonna put this leaf over there because I do want to take some of these and um, just kind of like include them in the little little decorations over here. But we are gonna take because I'm not really like in love with how I created those boxes, but it's no it's no big deal. Um, I mean, it's not. I'm not gonna figure out how I can redo the page. I'm just gonna let it go. But we are gonna put down some of these little decorations over here. Um, this is again very similar to what I did in January. And I really like how January turned out. So kind of following a sim a similar idea just makes a lot of sense to me. And then we're gonna put those little cherries right there so I can see exactly how it did not, that color was not very similar. <laughs> that. Um, we're gonna put this one over here. And then I just have a little bit more because I like using up these stickers for this spread. You know, this week feels like it has been going on for like ages and it's literally only Tuesday. <laughs> but I keep like, I, I keep hearing from people. They're like, I am convinced that January has been one of the longest months ever. And I just keep thinking, how did January go by so fast? Okay, so we are done with, no, we're not done with this. The last thing that I wanna do is I'm just gonna take my 0.38 Muji and I'm gonna create a line around the box. Um, I, while I don't really love the, um, the handmade box that much, I like it better when I have that thin pen border. So that's why I'm doing that. I like the bottom one better, um, with the exception of where I colored over the sticker. That really annoyed me. But yeah, I like this one, but I like the bottom one better because of the fact that it's thinner. But again, I, it's not perfect. This is one of the weeks where I am very much looking forward to having a three-day weekend. All right, one more to do. Especially knowing that I have two days left until my three-day weekend. So that's a positive. Okay, let's go ahead. I think that that's it. Um, yeah, let's... We're done with that. So now let's move on to, um, we're moving on to the first and the second. And what I was kind of almost thinking, so what I did for January, and this was kind of like an idea that I had. So I had the idea that I wanted to create like a weekly dashboard page. This literally only lasted for the first week and then I didn't create any more, but what if I was to create a weekly or um, a monthly dashboard page? So what I think I may do is I may, I may do that 
but at the same time, hey look, that looks like a cup that I have. At the same time, I kind of want to just use these for daily pages. Let's go ahead. I'm going to think what I'm going to do. I think I am going to create, I'm going to try to do like a monthly dashboard page. I will give, I will do February, the month that I try it. And then I will kind of decide, do I want to do this again? Or do I want to just immediately jump into my weekly daily pages? So we're going to do, I want washi actually, before I jump into that. Um, we're going to pick kind of thinking like a washi color that is coordinating. We're going to go with the, with this pink. And then I'm also going to use, I'm going to use a pink for both pages actually. And then we're also going to use, um, some white because I don't want it to have like too much of a contrast. And I feel like if I was to choose black, it would have way too much contrast. Also, I wish that my mat was this, this pink color. <laughs> I mean, my, my mat is a very beautiful pink color, but I feel like it just, it doesn't, it doesn't come across on camera as pretty as what it is in person. Okay, so we're gonna do that one. We're gonna do a piece at the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We need some washi down here. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to trim that away because I don't want it to like cover up the uh, the stickers. So we're just gonna leave it like that. And then I mentioned white. So as I'm kind of putting together my dashboard, um, I think what I I think what I want to do is I want to kind of keep it like super super simple. So I'm going to have a space to be able to kind of put in like my to-dos. Um, and I actually, okay, I kind of like, we're gonna leave it like that. Okay, this is what we're gonna do for January or for, for February. I, I feel like I keep saying January and I mean, I mean, February. First of all, we need our calendar. And this is where it gets really helpful because I literally have a calendar right in front of my face. So we're gonna go the days of the week first. So whenever I use my monthly calendar, I always do it a Sunday to Saturday. I don't like my monthly calendar being set up Monday through Sunday. It just throws it just throws me off. I don't I don't know how to explain it. And then the first starts on a Thursday. I was about to put in 30 days for February, but that's not right. Okay. So what we're going to do for this is, first of all, I want this little porch swing to be on this page. Like, oh, actually, we're going to put the porch swing up here towards the top. So it's like I can be able to trim off the end, the edges. Boom and boom. Good enough. Okay. And then I actually want the doorway to be kind of over here. So I think what I want to do is we're going to create two big boxes and I'm going to use like a gray.
I don't really know like how big that they should be. So I'm just kind of estimating. Um, and the way that I'm going to set this up is I think, I think one of them is going to be for like home to do's. And then the other one maybe will be for content creating, or maybe I'll do bills or maybe I'll do dinner ideas. That's, that's kind of what I, I need to figure out. Um, and I'm going to put, I put that right there and then I kind of, do I want two of those cups in one? I kind of don't, but I do think it'd be really cute to put that kind of going up the side of one and then we're going to put this going up the side of a box as well. Okay, so this one, um, since this is going to be just a regular daily page, I do need to have my time block washi. I And really the only reason why I use this is because I love the look of it. I don't like... I don't like really time out time block out my day. I just kind of notate like certain things. But I just really like how it looks and that's enough to keep me using it. Um, and if you are looking for this hourly washi, this comes from Aurora Estelle. Um, I don't have like any discount codes or affiliate link, but I will try to remember to link it down below so you can check that out. Um, I think I want to do the gray box again. Just because what I have noticed is that when I use this, I really like to have a box um, to kind of, to be able to like, kind of determine this is going to be like home to do's and then maybe the bottom section will be um, non home to do's, I guess. We're going to put that right there and I can just put the date up there and then we are good. But I have my two matching spreads. I love it. And we have a sheet that is empty. So for February, so okay, well, actually let me back up. So what I did today was my goals page, my cover and my goals page. I put in a reading page. Once I get my year to glance stickers, I will do those. Um, I've got more of my reading pages. And then I created my little journaling page for January. And then I created my February cover and my February reflection. And then my February monthly dashboard and then the very first day for February. So then after this, the next pages that I will be creating will be for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I love this so much. And if you're curious how much that I have used so far, I've used about this much, this much. Let's kind of back up. I've used this much of it for January. So I could kind of estimate maybe Maybe a little bit less than that for February. I don't know. It'll be kind of really curious to see just because of the fact that I am kind of throwing in like extra journaling pages. So it'll be kind of really curious to see how I continue to use this, what other journaling pages, like is there a possibility that I could end up completing this after March or maybe could it be like, could it be April? All right, but anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. Thumbs up, subscribe, click the notification bell, and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.